20 years ago, when I asked a bunch of big arms how to throw far, I got this one typical answer. Focus on the hit. So it became almost a mantra to focus on the hit. And it still is a mantra, but it is a valid one. Sadly though, it doesn't mean much without you visualizing what the focusing means and what the hit means. So you cannot focus on the hit when you don't know what focusing means and what hitting means, right? So I'm here to tell you what the mantra focus on the hit actually means. It took me about 20 years to realize this and now I think I know something about focusing on the hit. First of all, it doesn't mean focusing on the run up. I see many, many, many amateur players trying to run as fast as they can, trying to reach maximum speed with their bodies, with their legs and losing the momentum while doing it. So no, focusing on the hit doesn't mean focusing on running. The other misconception is focusing on the reach back. Again, many amateurs do this all the time. They waste energy in reaching as far back as they can, leaning on their back leg, bending their back and trying to get the disc far behind them and trying to pull it back. Now, again, it might work for some, but for many of us, it just doesn't make any sense focusing on the reach back. So basically what I'm saying is this, when you put all your focus on the hit, not the run up, not the reach back, you focus on the right timing. And this is crucial to get the maximum distance. Maximum distance means the maximum arm speed at the right time in the right place. So we want to focus all our energies to reach that exact little tiny spot in place and time where our arm reaches its maximum speed. That's the only thing that matters to get the timing right, to get the feel that this is the exact moment I need to turn my shoulders back and forward. My front foot has touched the ground, my weight has shifted, and now is the right moment to let it rip. Not earlier, not a moment later, but this is the exact moment. And this is the moment we call the hit. So to illustrate this, I made a kind of a music video of Simon Lizotte. I looped one of his shots and made it match a musical piece I found on the internet. So let's take a look. Notice his steps, the rhythm, the pace and the hit. The X step is quite slow. He takes his time to plan, but once it's done, the arm goes super fast. It's almost simultaneous with the front leg, but not... It's almost simultaneous. And here's the same shot without the music. Just listen to the sound of his feet and the ripping disc. Notice the rhythm. Just listen how Simon gets to the hit. X step and hit. X step and hit. So to recap, I think there's nothing more important than finding the rhythm and sticking with it. Find the beat, hear the rhythm, hear the music, hear the X step match your hip movement, your shoulder movement, your arm movement to the beat you have created. Simon has a very distinct beat. This is a perfect rhythm. So hopefully in the future, if you practice enough, if you can hear the beat clearly enough, you can match your X step to the beat and just focus on the hit. X step and hit. X step and hit. X step and hit.